Hey everybody, today we will crochet these fingerless wrist warmers or gloves. These gloves work up very fast within an hour. They have a ribbing at the bottom and a very easy lace pattern at the top. This is an easy step-by-step -step beginner friendly tutorial. The written pattern for these gloves has been linked along with the timestamps in the description box below. Hello and welcome to Let's All Crochet. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Hope you enjoy. To crochet these wrist warmers, we are going to need one skein of any medium weight or weight 4 yarn. So we are going to need less than one skein actually. I am going to use this color. You can use any color that you want as long as it is a medium weight yarn. So the second wrist warmer pair that I have made, I have made in this color. So you can decide whichever color you want and go ahead and use it. I am using 100% acrylic yarn. But you can go ahead and use any material you want. So we are also going to need a 5.5 millimeter or an eye size crochet hook, scissors and a tapestry needle. Now let's begin. So we are going to start the glove with the ribbing here and then move on to this lacy part. So basically we are going to chain this part like this. So decide how wide you want this part to be and that is how much you will chain. So my ribbing is a little over 2 inches. I am going to begin with a chain 11. Begin with a slip knot. We can make it however we want. I'm going to take this tail end and loop it over the working end like this. And I'm going to take this tail end and go below this loop with it. So I make a small pretzel shape. I'm going to have one loop here and one loop here. Catch the second loop carefully in your hook. Hold the rest down and pull out the second loop. This is the slip knot. I'm going to tuck on the smaller tail end. To tighten it. Now we are going to begin the ribbing. Two chain we are going to yarn over so go from the left go below your yarn catch the yarn in your hook and then pull it through this loop. So this is our first chain. So this is called yarn over and then pull it through this loop. Yarn over and pull it through this loop. So we have made three chains so far. Four, five, Continue till you have 11 or the number that you want. So you can chain any number for the ribbon. Row 1. We are going to make a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So remember the loop on the hook does not count as a stitch. This first V that we see is our first chain and the second V that we see is our second chain. Insert your hook into the top loop of the V. Yarn over and then pull through. We have two loops on our hook. We are going to yarn over and pull through both these loops. So this is our first single crochet. So we're going to make a single crochet in the next chain as well. We have made a single crochet in this chain. Go to the next chain. Insert your hook below the top loop of the V. Yarn over and pull through. We have two loops on our hook. Yarn over and then pull through both. Go to the next chain and make another single crochet. Insert your hook. Yarn over and pull through. We have two loops, yarn over and pull through both. So in the same way, in every chain, we are going to continue making a single crochet till we reach the last chain here. I will meet you there. Finished row 1. At the end of the row, we are going to count all these V's that we see and we are going to have 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. The loop here is not a stitch. Let's go to row 2. Begin row 2 with a chain 1. So yarn over and then pull through. Then we are going to turn our work. So now we are going to work in this direction. For the ribbing, we are going to work in the back loop only. So we are going to work in the back loop from the first stitch. The loop on the hook is not a stitch. This here is our chain 1 stitch that we made before turning. So this is also not a stitch. Now this V that we see is our very first stitch. There is a loop that faces us and a loop that faces away from us. So this is the back loop, the one that is facing away from us and this is where we are going to make our single crochet for the ribbing. So let's go to this very first stitch, go into the back loop of the V and make your single crochet. Go to the very next V or the next stitch, insert your hook into the back loop, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through both. So in the same way, we are going to work a single crochet in all the stitches. So if you can't see the V clearly like this, you are just going to turn it a little bit and see your V. So 
I will meet you once we finish this next row. We have reached the very last stitch of the row and we want to make sure we don't miss it. So we are just going to turn our work and this is the very last V that we see. Here we have our chain stitch. So into the very last V, into the back loop, we are going to insert our hook and make our single crochet. We are working only into the back loop. Now we are going to count all the Vs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. This first V is always going to be hidden. So make sure you just move aside the stitch and you count it. You don't want to miss any stitches. The rest of the ribbing, you are just going to repeat row 2 for pattern. So let's go to row 3. We are going to chain 1 and then turn our work. Remember the loop on the hook is not a stitch. This is our chain 1 stitch. Go to the back loop of the very first stitch and make your single crochet. Go to the next stitch. Make a single crochet in the back loop. Continue till the end of this row and I will meet you there. So I have reached the end of the row. I have reached the very last stitch of row 3. We want to turn our work and make sure we don't miss this very last stitch. Here we have our chain stitch. This last V is our last stitch. Insert your hook into the back loop of the stitch. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through both. We are going to count all our stitches and make sure we have 10. We are going to repeat row 2 for pattern till the ribbing is long enough to fit around our wrist. So we are going to make this first and then we will join it and make a round. But first we are just going to repeat the rows till it is long enough to fit around our wrist. The number of rows that we make should be a multiple of 3. So you can have 24 rows, 27 rows, 30 rows and so on. But at the end it must be a multiple of 3. We will meet you once we finish our entire ribbing. So I finished making all the rows of the ribbing. Remember that you should have a multiple of 3. I have 24 rows. If we turn our ribbing like this and when the slip knot is at the bottom left, this is the right side of our work. So now we are going to make a round for this to go around our wrist. So we will bring the second side like this and just fold it. So now the right side is on the inside and the wrong side is on top. So it doesn't matter whether you finish your last row on this side or on this side. We are just going to join both these sides together. Now we are just going to slip stitch across the top here so that we join the two together. So we are going to place both these sides exactly against one another. We want to match the stitches so that we slip stitch correct. So now we are going to find the first stitch on both these sides. So this is the first chain or the first stitch on this first side. And on the back, this is the very first stitch. The loop on the hook is not a stitch. So we are going to join these two together. We are going to take our hook, insert it below both the loops of the chain on this side like this. Go to the back and insert it below both the loops of the V. Then we are going to yarn over, pull through both these two loops, pull through the chain and then pull through the loop on our hook. So this is the very first slip stitch. Now let's make our next slip stitch. So this is the very next chain that we see. Insert your hook below the chain like this. Find the stitch at the back. So this is the second stitch. Go below both the loops of the V. We're going to yarn over, pull through the stitch here, pull through the chain on this side and then pull through the loop on the hook. Let's go and make the next slip stitch. So insert your hook, insert your hook. Yarn over and pull through and then we are going to pull through the loop on the hook. So we are just going to make sure this loop is a little long so it is easier to slip stitch. So I am going to meet you once we finish making all the slip stitches till the end here. So I have made 9 slip stitches and I have reached my last slip stitch. Remember, the number of slip stitches are going to be same as the number of single crochet you made in the ribbing. So, I have reached my last. I am going to insert my hook into the last chain that we see here. This is near our slip knot. Then we are going to go below both the loops of the last single crochet on the other side. Yarn over and pull through. Pull through the chain. And last, pull through the loop on the hook. So, we have finished slip, stitch, slip stitching. So once we join the ribbing, we are going to just wear it and check the fit. So you want to make sure it fits correctly. If it is too tight, we are going to remove it 
Remove where we have joined, remove all the slip stitches and add a few more rows. If it is too loose, we will subtract a few rows. Make sure you have a multiple of 3 at the end. So we want 24, 27, 30 and so on rows before we continue. So now that we have finished our slip stitches, we are going to turn this the right way before we make the rest of our wrist warmer. So just turn it inside out like this. So now this is the right side facing us. Now this is the little tail end. We are just going to move it aside and we can move it inside to the wrong side. We will weave it in later. Let's begin round 1 of the wrist warmer now. So first we are going to chain 1, yarn over and pull through. And now we are going to single crochet in the same stitch. Just insert your hook into the stitch here, somewhere near the same stitch like this, yarn over and pull through. We have two loops, yarn over and pull through both. So we have made our first single crochet and if you want, you can mark this with a stitch marker to know where to end the round. Now let's go to this next stitch here. So what we are going to do is at the side of every row of the ribbing, we are going to make a single crochet. So this is our next row. We are going to insert our hook, make a single crochet. This is our next row. Insert your hook, make a single crochet. So basically between both these ridges, we are going to have two rows. So we will make two single crochet between both these ridges. One and two. So continue in the same way all around and I will meet you once we reach the end of the round here. So I have reached the end of the round and this is my very last row. So I am just going to insert my hook and make my very last single crochet. After that, I have reached my first single crochet of the round. So you want to make sure you have the same number of single crochet as the number of rows of the ribbing. Or you want to make sure you have a multiple of 8. So I have counted all my single crochet and I have 24. Then we will make a slip stitch to this first single crochet and end this round. So insert your hook below both the loops of the V of this very first single crochet, yarn over and then pull through and then pull through the loop on the hook. And this is the end of round 1. Let's go to round 2. And now we are going to begin working in double crochets. So we are going to begin with a chain 3. 1, 2, 3. This first chain 3 is going to count as a double crochet in all the rounds from now on. So if you pull up the stitch a little bit, you can see a space here. So we are going to make 2 more single crochet in the same stitch. So yarn over, go back to this very same stitch here, insert your hook, yarn over and then pull through. We have 3 loops on our hook, we are going to yarn over and pull through 2. We have 2 loops on our hook, we are going to yarn over and pull through the last so we have made our first double crochet. This chain 3, then one more double crochet. Let's make another double crochet. We are going to yarn over first. Insert a hook into the same stitch. Yarn over and pull through. We have 3 loops on the hook. We are going to yarn over and pull through 2. We have 2 loops on a hook. Yarn over and pull through the last 2. So we can see that we have worked in this stitch. After this, we are going to skip the next 2 stitches. So skip one single crochet and skip two. And in this third single crochet that we see, we are going to make three double crochet. We have worked here, skip one, skip two. In this single crochet, we will make three double crochet. So yarn over first, insert your hook below both the loops of the V, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through the last two. Make two more double crochet in the same stitch. So we have three double crochet in the same stitch. So now we are just going to repeat this pattern till the end of the round here. So we are going to skip the next two stitches, skip one single crochet and skip two. And we are going to this next single crochet here and making 3 double crochets in it. We are always going to work below both the loops of the V of the single crochets or the double crochets now. So 
So we're going to skip two stitches again, make three double crochet in the next stitch. So we're going to continue doing this till we reach the end of the round and I will meet you there. So I've reached the end of the round. I made three double crochet in this stitch. After that, I have one stitch and two stitch. I'm going to skip both these stitches. What we can see here, this loop, this is a slip stitch of the previous row. It does not count as a stitch. We're going to skip the last two stitches and join by a slip stitch to the third chain of this chain three. So this is our very first chain. This is our second chain. And on top here is the third chain. You can just find your double crochet and the chain before it is where we are going to slip stitch. So we are just going to insert our hook into this chain. Do it carefully. Make sure you go into the third chain. Then we are going to yarn over and pull through. And pull through the loop on the hook. So this is the end of the round. And if we count all our stitches, we are going to have the same number of stitches as round 1 or the single crochet round. So from now on, the stitch count is always going to remain the same as round 1. Round 3. Now we are going to start the rounds differently from round 3. We are going to make a slip stitch first. So we are going to go to the next stitch here and make a slip stitch. This is the chain 3. This is our first stitch. Find the next double crochet and we are going to insert our hook below both the loops of the V of the next stitch. Then we are going to yarn over and pull through and pull through the loop on our hook. So once we have reached the second double crochet or after the double crochet right after the chain 3, we are going to make our next round. We are going to chain 3. This counts as our first double crochet. And we are going to go back to the same stitch and make two more double crochet. So yarn over, go back to the same stitch, make one more. Yarn over to the same stitch. So you're making sets of three double crochet. Now just like round two, you're going to skip two stitches. So we're going to skip this stitch and skip this stitch. And in this next stitch, we're going to make three double crochet. So you will notice why we have slip stitch because we want to come to the center double crochet of these three double crochet and we're going to make three double crochet in there. So after we skip these two double crochet, we're going to come to this double crochet which is the center double crochet of this three double crochet and we're going to make three double crochets in it again. One, two and three. We're going to continue repeating this pattern till the end of this round. We're going to skip the next two stitches and in the next stitch which is also the center stitch of this three double crochet, we're going to make three double crochet. Skip one, skip two, in the next stitch we're going to make three double crochet. After this we'll skip one, skip two and make three double crochet in this stitch. Remember to work below both the loops of the V. So I will meet you at the end of this round. So I have reached the end of round 3. If I count all my double crochet including this chain 3, I have 24 which is the same as round 1 for me. So after these last 3 double crochet in the same stitch, I am going to skip this double crochet, skip the chain 3. So we skip 2 stitches and we are going to join by a slip stitch to the 3rd chain of this chain 3. So if we turn the chain, we can see the 1st chain here, the 2nd chain and the 3rd chain on top here. We are going to insert a hook into the third chain. We are going to yarn over and pull through and then pull through the loop on the hook. The rest of the wrist warmer is very easy. We are just going to repeat round 3 for pattern as many times as we want. So this is one of the wrist warmers I have already made. So I have decided to stop just when my fingers start somewhere about here. You can decide how tall you want your glove to be. So we're just going to keep repeating round 3 till we reach the height that we want. I'm going to repeat it 4 more times. I'm going to start the next repeat with you. Remember, we're going to start with a slip stitch. So this is our chain 3. This is the double crochet. We're going to go to this double crochet. Insert a hook below both the loops of the V. Yarn over and pull through and then pull through the loop on the hook. 
we have slip stitch to the center of double crochet. Now we are going to chain 3. Make 2 more double crochets in the same stitch. And now we are going to begin a repeat pattern. We are going to skip the next 2 stitches. Skip, skip and in this next stitch we are going to make 3 double crochet. Skip the next two stitches. In the next stitch, we are going to make three double crochet. Continue till the end of the round and I will meet you there. At the end of the round, we are going to join by a slip stitch to the third chain of the chain three. So remember, you should count all your double crochet. Make sure you have the same number as round one for you. We are going to skip this last double crochet. Skip the chain three. Jump to the third chain of this chain three. Make your slip stitch. So I have already made one repeat of round 3 with you. I am going to make 3 more repeats and I will meet you once we finish making the entire glove. So I have finished making all the rows of my wrist warmer. Now let's see how to fasten off. I am going to leave about 4 to 5 inches of this yarn and then cut it. Now we are going to pull out a loop by tugging on this hook. So now we are going to weave this tail end in. So we are going to go below both the loops of this next double crochet that we see, this is our chain 3, this is the double crochet that we usually slip stitch into. So go below both the loops of this double crochet like this. And now we are going to go back to this loop that we see here. Insert your hook, push your needle into it and push it to the back of the work. So we can't see exactly where we have ended the round in this way. Now we are going to go to the inside of our glove here and then weave this tail end in. So I am just going to turn this inside out. Turn the tail end on the wrong side always. We are going to take our needle and just go 3 to 4 times in the opposite direction with it. So you don't want to tug too tightly or you will distort the shape of your wrist warmer. So once you are sure this yarn is firmly weaved in. You are going to take your scissor and then cut this yarn off. Even this tail end as well and our wrist warmer will be ready. We are going to turn it to the right side. So now in the same way as our first wrist warmer, we are going to make one more and our wrist warmers are ready. If you have enjoyed this video, please press on the thumbs up or the like button so this video can reach more people. Let me know in the comments how you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Now here are some similar tutorials you may enjoy. See you next time.